Peace, 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 family. This your brother Monroe Jr. coming live. And there was a song that came on the radio talking about how I just want to see you twerk. Let me see you work. And then it did a little doo doo. And I, I thought about the song and I said, well, hell, our women need to be saying, I want to see you work. <laughs> You know, and in reality, sister, the only man that you should twerk for should be the man who has committed his life to you. A man who is willing to go to war with the elements of nature for you, meaning that he's willing to go out and get it for you. Rain, hell, snow, And even earthquakes to make it for you and the baby. That's the type of man that should have the honor of being in your presence for you are a divine creation of the creator. And any man that just wants you to visualize you in their mind twerking or being able to physically touch you on a low level once they see you for the first time. That is a man who doesn't earnestly desire to commit himself to you, to marry you, to honor you, to elevate you, to respect you. That is a man who desires to have you as a treat. A man who desires to have a good time with you and then he will discard you. Once men grow in their understanding of the divine value of the woman, we don't want you for your behind sister, we want you for your mind. Because your mind, once your mind is elevated, to what our creator wants it to be, then you give birth, as I heard the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, to new realities, meaning that you give birth to children who will bring in an entire new uh, thought because they will look at what exists now. And because of the mother that they have that nurtured them, that cared for them when they were young, that gave them new ideas, huh? Because when a woman is intelligent naturally, she brings forth into the world intelligent children. When the mo when the mom is of good moral to char moral character, most often the children will aspire to be like mother or father. When we are both in our right mind frame. Sisters, let me see your mind. That is your real divine value. When a man falls in love with your mind, there is no time limit. Like unto when he falls in love with your behind. There is a time limit to that manifestation of that reality. Once he explores that, as the minister said, he, that's a, a quick exploration. And then he's back on to the next thing, trying to explore because it's in a man's nature to conquer everything that, in his, that is in his way, in his path. So do you want him to explore you on that level? Or do you want him to explore you on a level that takes time to see the depth of? It takes time to do the digging into the mind of a woman who's in tune with the mind of God, sister. It takes time to do digging, to get in, my, get in motion and in sync with a man who's uh, in line with the divine mind of our creator. So when we see you, sister, let us see you in an elevated place. 
For you and your nature are a righteous woman. But sometimes when we have been brought up and raised in a society that does not teach the divine value of the female, then sometimes by proxy we do what we see by circumstance but our nature says I know it is something better for me. You are divine woman, you are divine brothers. I don't want you to think brothers that I'm talking down to you, no. Whenever we uplift the woman, whenever we respect the woman, we are uplifting our communities. We are uplifting society. We are uplifting humanity. So sisters, that's not so, so much behind. Let's let the men get to know your mind. And once they fall in love with your mind, there is no limit of time that we have to explore. Because we live in a vast universe and as much as we learn, there, there is so much more out there to learn. So sister, make him seek the bounties within your mind and not your behind. This your brother Monroe Jr. Stay strong, family. Peace.